Hello and welcome to this After Effects Basics tutorial just looking at some of the shortcuts and the ways of working in our timeline. Now we've looked at lots of the bells and whistles over on this side, what about bits and pieces on this side? Okay well at the bottom we have a zoom bar. Now wherever your current time indicator or your playhead happens to be is where this will zoom in and I call this hills and mountains. We've got the hills and we zoom into the mountains so we zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and you'll see that it actually zooms in right up to the frame level on the current time indicator or the playhead. Notice also that the bar up here has contracted because this is another way of zooming in and out and selecting portions. You can pull out one end and pull out the other end. You'll see there's a little red line on it showing us where the current time indicator is but you can also choose different parts of your composition by moving this around and also zooming in and out until we get all the way back or you can double click it to take it back to where it was last set or you can zoom out this way or you can zoom out by pulling the ends of these out there is another way of doing it and that is by using the two keys after the zero key on the ordinary part of your keyboard not on the number pad but on the ordinary part and if you go for the what we call the plus and minus keys they're actually dash and equals but they've got plus and minus at the top if I go plus I zoom in if I go minus I zoom out so that's ways of zooming right into your current time indicator or your playhead. Wherever this is, is where the zooming will take place. Again, I'm pushing plus and minus to zoom in and out. Okay, so that's how you can zoom in and out. Now the bar below is this thick grey bar. is actually your work area bar. And sometimes what you want to do is work on a much smaller part of your project. So you can see this particular composition goes on for two minutes. But actually all my action is happening here. So what I might want to do is drag the end of this work area and just go down here and then that's the area that I'm going to be working in and when I do RAM previews and it previews all the way through that particular bit it's only going to preview my work area it's not going to preview the whole of my composition so it's going to just go back to this bit here which is going to save us a lot of aggro and of course you can grab that in the middle and move the whole thing around and if you double click it it goes all the way back to the full length of your composition now there are ways of choosing the beginning and end point for your work area it's as simple as this let's say that I want my work area to start at 30 seconds so what I can do is click over here in my time code click and go 30 and then hit the point key and then if I hit return that's going to give me 30 seconds and now you see that's gone to 30 seconds and that's where I want my work area bar to begin to get this to the beginning point you hit the B key, B for beginning and that's the beginning of your work area bar and it snapped it to my current time indicator now say at 45 seconds I want to finish if I want to be precise I can click and hit 45 point and if it was 45 seconds and a few frames I could type the frame number afterwards let's say for argument's sake 10 frames hit return and then snapped it to 45 seconds and 10 frames and I want this to be the end of my work area You'd have thought it would be E for end, but it's not. It's N, which is right next to the B key. So if you hit N for end, there we have. We've got the beginning of our work area, which was B, and the end of our work area, which is N, beginning and end. Now, that's how we can change our work area. But also, you can choose the in points and the out points for specific layers. Notice that our layers, our top layer, our text layer is the full two minutes long, though the second layer is much shorter. Now if I select the second layer and say I want to get to the out point, the in point would be the beginning of the clip and the out point would be the end of the clip. If I hit O for out with the layer selected, the current time indicator snaps to the out point of my layer. If I want the in point of my layer, I just hit I. And it goes to the in point of my layer. And if my layer was somewhere else, say it was over here, it would still work exactly the same. Hit I for in and O for out. Now say that in the middle of my composition there was a whole bunch of layers and those were the ones I wanted to work on I could if I wanted make the work area snap to this particular area so I can go I for in of the layer that I want to work on and then B for the beginning of my work area O for the out point of the layer I'm working on 
and N for the end of my work area. And then I have selected my work area and based it on the layer that I'm working on and that's the only bit that we're going to be working on and we've changed our work area to be exactly the length we want. Now notice if you right click on your work area you have some other options. I'm not going to go through all of these options but I want you to see this one at the bottom trim comp to work area. If you've actually got a massively long composition and actually you don't want all of it what you can do is you can select the beginning point and the end point of your composition and then trim the whole thing to that particular length. So that would be trim comp to work area which we're not going to do but I just want to show you it's there. So I'm going to click back on this and then double click to make it the whole length of my composition and I'm going to move this back to the beginning and I want to show you a couple of other bits and pieces. Now, say I want to move this layer so it's in point starts at my current time indicator. My current time indicator is at a very precise place and I want to move the in point of this layer to this point. What do I do? Well, you know the square bracket keys which are next to the P key. So you don't hit shift, you just hit the square bracket key next to the P. If you hit that, it takes the in point of your layer to the current time indicator. If I was to hit the other square bracket next to that one, it would take the out point of my layer to my current time indicator. So if I go to the one underneath where it says Linda's Farm, select the layer, first square bracket, beginning, the in point to the current time indicator, the other square bracket, the out point to the current time indicator. Now what if I want this layer underneath, the C layer, also to snap to the same point, but rather than the beginning coming to this point, I want to cut the whole layer so that the layer starts at this point. What I could do is kind of get this two-way arrow and trim the layer back and bring it to this point and hope for the best. But the way to actually make it snap so that it's not the beginning point that's coming here but just the layer is going to start at this point but from the same place, I hold the ALT key and the square bracket. And then if I go to the other end I have to actually love that bit there. Let's say that actually that's bit I can hold the Alt key and the other square bracket and it brings the end to there and I've actually seen that that's a really good bit to have underneath my little text bit above. So I can pull the layer itself, just click and drag and move it. And then again I can pull this to the beginning and I can hold the square bracket key and the Alt key, open square brackets and it snaps it to that area and I can do the same with the other layers in the same way if I wish. So that's using different types of keys to move things around. What if I want to move up and down layers? At the moment I'm at layer 4 but what if I want to actually select layer 1? Well I can go in and select layer 1 but the alternative is to hold the control key and then the up arrow on my keyboard and that goes up layers and the control key and down arrow that selects different layers. And lastly, what if I want to move a layer? What if this layer is in the wrong place? Let's take the music layer and I want to move this, say, to the top of my stack as opposed to the bottom. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but let's say I do. I hold the control key and the closed square brackets, which is just two past the P key, and that'll move it up. And I can move it to the top of my stack. Or alternatively, I can hold the control key and the key next to the P key, open square brackets, and that moves it down again. So that's how you can use keyboard shortcuts, how you can use the B key to get to the beginning of your work area and then I could choose a layer and then I could go O for out to take the out point and hit the N key to get the end of my work area and if I wanted to just work on that area and that area alone I could right click in there and say trim comp to that work area and that's all I'd have left. Of course I wouldn't do that because it looks terrible but you could do that if you want. So that's some of the keyboard shortcuts, that's some of the way of navigating with inside your timeline. There are other bits and pieces but we're not going to cover them in this tutorial. I hope you found these hints and tips useful. My name's Andrew Davis. and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.